Hello everyone, it's Strawberry Ella here and thank you so much for joining me in another video. Exactly one year ago, I filmed a video called Things I Stopped Using and Buying and if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna leave it up in the card section. But since one year has passed, I thought I'm gonna film an updated version and I'm still living a quite minimalist lifestyle so I thought it'd be interesting to see if I'm still not using certain products or items or if I started using them again. So that's what I'm gonna talk about in today's video. And I'd say without further ado, let's get started. As I mentioned in my previous video, I stopped wearing makeup when I went vegan. And that's not because there's no products out there that are not tested on animals, because they, I know that there's a bunch out there. I just found that I liked not wearing makeup and that I prefer the more natural kind of look. And that's basically what I carried on. I'm not using any makeup products. I'm not using any creams, especially not in my face because my skin is just really sensitive. And if I use any kind of products, I tend to break out. So I stopped doing that at all. Also any kind of mascara or lipstick I never really use, things like that. Then also what hasn't changed is that I'm still not using any deodorant or shower gel and a lot of people kind of got upset over that in my past video that I'm smelly or that I can't do that when I'm around other people and let me tell you it definitely works. I'm not smelly at all at least from what people told me, what my boyfriend says and also just people around me and what I can tell is that I don't smell and that everything is fine not using any shower gel or deodorant and I have been doing that for the past few years. I just don't like the chemically based products that are out there. I don't like how they react with my skin and as I said I'm just really sensitive to things like that so I just keep it really natural. In terms of soap Still, I'm using Dr. Browner's for most of my things, so as a hand soap, then also to do laundry and also cleaning around the house. So Dr. Browner's is just a great product overall for everything. And then in terms of toothpaste, in my previous video I shared that I wanted to try out a toothpaste made out of coconut oil and baking soda. And I tried that, but honestly it didn't work that well for me. I prefer just having a normal, natural, fluoride-free toothpaste that's vegan. I use one that's from Tom's and I really like the taste of it. I don't use it a lot and it works fine for me doing that. Just to mention, I also stopped using a plastic toothbrush. I'm using a wooden one now for the past few years, I'd say. It's more eco-friendly and I compose it after I've used it for a few months. And lastly, in terms of shampoo, I've still been using a vegan shampoo. I wash my hair once a week and I only use a tiny amount, so that's been working for me. I tried the no poo and also just the baking soda method and honestly it didn't work for my hair and I just stick to just a normal vegan shampoo that's really natural, it doesn't smell and it's been working for my hair so why change things up I'd say. So in terms of my beauty and hygiene products I like to keep it really simple and natural that just fits perfectly into my lifestyle and how I feel my best and also it comes really handy with traveling. I don't have to take a lot of things with me. I don't have to worry about carrying a lot of things. It's also way better for my wallet because beauty products tend to be a bit more expensive and that way I save money and yeah, I just do what feels best for me. If you watched my room tour or previous videos on downsizing, you probably know that I like to keep my bookshelves really clean and empty so I don't really own any books anymore just a few that I want to keep and that I want to reread but other than that I started using my Kindle and I know in my previous video I said I don't like reading ebooks that much but for traveling it's just so much easier and I found it's also just so much better for the environment instead of purchasing a new book. However, I love reading actual physical books. So sometimes I get a used book. When I'm done with that, I just donate it or gift it to friends. Or also another way is I just go to the library and I rent a book and then I bring it back once I'm done with it. And that's probably the easiest way and that's the best when I have a library around. If not, I use my kit or as I said, I'm gonna buy a used book and 
donate it or gift it to someone once I'm done with it. In terms of DVDs or CDs, I'm still not using any of these anymore. I don't own any of these and I'm just using Netflix or I'm just watching YouTube videos and that's best entertainment for me. I don't need anything else. The third category might have been surprising for some people because it's quite unusual that I said I stopped purchasing and mostly using winter clothes and as I explained in my previous video is that I want to keep the amount of time that I'm in colder climates um, quite short. So if I am here at my parents' place in Berlin, I do need winter clothes. Obviously when I'm here doing the winter, which I'm trying not to, but I have a small amount of winter clothes here. I have one thicker winter coat, I have two sweaters, a pair of jeans and also some boots. And I try to keep it as that as a small amount and if it does get colder I can just layer up but what I did is when I came back to Berlin a few weeks ago and it was still freezing cold it was actually snowing is that I got a used sweater from a thrift shop and that's basically what I want to do if I want to get a new item of clothes is that I want to get it used that I want to get it from a thrift shop or flea market so it's already out there and I don't have to purchase a new item and I also want to gift or donate an item that I already have so I don't add too many things to my wardrobe and yeah that way it doesn't clutter up I still wear all the items that I own and I don't have too many things so I kind of like to keep it that way if you want to see an updated wardrobe I can film that too it's planned and you see what items I still have I don't know if that will ever change again about myself is that I tend to be an underbuyer. So what that means is that when I see an item in the store and I get just really excited about it, I can't really get myself to buy it. I have to go home, sleep over it, pound over the decision a million times until I finally get myself to buy it if that's really something that I want. And I think that's actually quite a good thing about my personality because then I kind of avoid impulsive purchases. We all know how that works. We go to the store, we see a bunch of cute little things, maybe decoration items or also a bunch of clothes that might look good on us or that just would look good in our apartment and we just impulsively buy them and once we get home we realize that we already have an item like this or that it doesn't really fit in our wardrobe or that it was actually quite expensive and that we end up not really using it. And to avoid that, I would simply just suggest to sleep over your decision and really just think about if you need that item, if you're gonna use it long term, if it is gonna add value to your life, and if you, yeah, really need that item. And by all means, if that's the case, definitely go for it. In this video, I don't wanna tell you stop using certain items or you have to adopt a minimalist lifestyle to live a certain way definitely not I found that it's all about balance and just keeping the items that you definitely value and really consider before you buy an item if you need it and if it is gonna add value to your life and if it's gonna last you long term and what I found is just with that way of living that I tend to buy less items and that I value the items I have so much more that I feel I have more space in my life mentally and also physically and that I tend to feel a lot more organized. So that's basically everything I wanted to share with you in this video. If you want to hear more about my benefits of minimalism, also tips on downsizing and living a more also zero waste lifestyle, I'm going to leave a few links in the description box and probably all also in the card section and if not just scroll through my channel there's a bunch of videos where I share my experiences with you and I hope you enjoyed today's video and leave me any more video suggestions down in the comments below thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day bye for now guys <laughs>